Ice Age – Continental Drift is a 2012 American 3D computer animated adventure comedy film produced by Blue Sky Studios and distributed by 20th Century Fox. It is the fourth installment of the Ice Age series and the sequel to Ice Age – Dawn of the Dinosaurs 2009. The film was directed by Steve Martino and Michael Thurmeyer from a script by Michael Berg and Jason Fuchs, and stars the voices of Ray Romano, John Leguizamo, Dennis Leary, Queen Latifah, Sean William Scott, Josh Peck, and Chris Wedge reprise their previous roles alongside Kiki Palmer, Nicki Minaj, Drake, Jennifer Lopez, Josh Gad, and Peter Dinklage voicing new characters. The plot focuses on Scrat sending Manny, Sid, and Diego adrift on an iceberg with Sid's granny and causing them to face a gang of pirates led by Captain Gut. Ice Age – Continental Drift was released in the United States on July 13, 2012. This was the first Ice Age film to be presented in the 2.39, 1 aspect ratio. The film grossed $877 million worldwide, marking it the fifth highest grossing film of 2012 and the highest grossing animated film of 2012. A sequel, titled Ice Age, Collision Course, was released on July 22, 2016. Topic. Plot While Scrat inadvertently causes the breakup of Pangaea, Manny and Ellie are forced to deal with the trials and tribulations of their teenage daughter Peaches, who has trouble fitting in with her peers. Ellie tries to support her daughter, but Manny becomes exceedingly overprotective. Meanwhile, Sid's family returns, but only long enough to drop off the elderly granny before abandoning them both. Shortly after, a sudden continental breakup separates Manny from the herd. Trapped on a moving chunk of ice with Sid, Granny, and Diego, Manny has no choice but to ride out the current. Meanwhile, a giant land shift encroaches on Ellie, Peaches, and those remaining on land, causing them to make their way towards a land bridge. Meanwhile, Scrat, in a subplot, finds an acorn that has a treasure map on it that directs him towards an island. After violent weather pushes them further away from land, Manny's group is captured by a band of pirates sailing on a floating iceberg led by a gigantopithecus, Captain Gut, who attempts to press them into his crew. When they refuse, Gut tries to execute them, leading to their escape, which inadvertently cause the ship and food supplies to sink. Gut's first mate, a female sabertooth named Shira, joins them after she is left for dead. The herd washes ashore on Switchback Cove, which gives a current back to their home. Manny coordinates a plan using a group of Hyrax to steal a new iceberg ship that Gut is planning to use, and they are able to escape using the ship. Just before that, Diego, who has fallen in love with Shira, tries to convince her to leave the pirates and join the herd so she can have a better life, but Shira, while initially accepting, instead stays behind and slows Gut down so the herd can escape. Gut then forms another ship and plans to seek revenge on Manny. After narrowly escaping a pack of sirens, Manny, Sid, Diego, and Granny return home only to find the land bridge destroyed and that Gut has beaten them and taken Ellie, Peaches, and the rest of the herd hostage. A fight ensues, as Granny's pet whale, Precious, arrives and fends off Gut's crew. Manny defeats Gut in a final duel on an ice floe and reunites with his family and friends. Gut subsequently encounters a siren that assumes the shape of a female Gigantopithecus, and is eaten alive. With their home destroyed by the land shift, Precious takes the entire herd including Shira, who becomes a couple with Diego to a lush island where the Hyraxes from earlier have already started rebuilding their civilization. In the film's epilogue, Scrat discovers the island on the map, known as Scratlantis a parody of Atlantis, but his uncontrollable urge to hunt acorns in the acorn-rich city inadvertently causes the entire island to sink when he unplugs an acorn drain holder. Scrat is then ejected into a newly created desert landscape, through which he screams as his tears boil from the heat. Topic. Voice cast Ray Romano as Manny, a woolly mammoth who is Ellie's husband and Peach's overprotective father John Leguizamo as Sid, a lazy, but caring ground sloth who is Manny's friend Dennis Leary as Diego, a smilodon who is Manny's friend and Shira's love interest Sean William Scott as Crash, an opossum, Eddie's brother, and Ellie's close friend and adoptive brother Josh Peck as Eddie, an opossum, Crash's brother, and Ellie's close friend and adoptive brother Peter Dinklage as Captain Gut, a Gigantopithecus. 
Jeremy Renner was originally announced to voice Gut Wanda Sykes as Granny, Sid's 80-year-old grandmother Jennifer Lopez as Shira, a Smilodon, and Gut's first mate, until she is separated from her crew and falls in love with Diego Queen Latifah as Ellie, a woolly mammoth who is Manny's wife and Peach's mother Josh Gad as Lewis, a molehog and Peach's best friend Kiki Palmer as Peaches, a teenage woolly mammoth and Manny and Ellie's daughter Nick Frost as Flynn, an elephant seal Aziz Ansari as Squint, a rabbit Paleologus, who is part of Gut's crew Drake as Ethan, a mammoth that Peaches has a crush on Nicki Minaj as Steffi, a mammoth who is Ethan's girlfriend and makes fun of Peaches Ben Glebe as Marshall Sid's brother Alan Tudyk as Milton, Sid's father and hunky siren Esther Dean as Sloth and Ape Sirens Kunal Niyar as Gupta, a Bengali badger Chimitataxis. Rebel Wilson as Raz, a kangaroo Eddie Pylin. Sotelo as Uncle Fungus, Sid's uncle Joy Behar as Eunice, Sid's mother Alan Chabot as Silas, a blue-footed booby Heather Morris as Katie, one of Steffi's best friends Chris Wedge as Scrat, a saber-toothed squirrel Karen Disher as Scrat, a female saber-toothed squirrel and Scrat's ex-love interest Patrick Stewart as Ariscrattle, a saber-toothed squirrel from Scratlantis Topic. Production The first details of the sequel were announced on January 10, 2010, when The New York Times reported that Blue Sky was working on a fourth film and was in negotiations with the voice cast. Fox later confirmed on May 5, 2010, that Ice Age, Continental Drift would be released on July 13, 2012. Topic. Soundtrack. A soundtrack album of music by John Powell was released on July 10, 2012 by Varez Saraband. In addition to Powell's original score, the film also features Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Powell explained his decision. At the beginning of the film, the creation of the geographical world as we know it seemed just such an immense idea to musically convey, that I gave up entirely and used Beethoven's Ninth Symphony instead. With a bit of obscenely crass re-orchestration and blatantly cheap arranging tricks normally associated with strippers, we got it to fit the action perfectly. But the cost that I must now bear is having to live forever in hiding, since the Beethoven Society issued a fatwa on me. <laughs> Track listing Featured in the film was, Chasing the Sun, performed by The Wanted the film's first theme song, and the second theme song, We Are Family, written by Esther Dean, performed by Kiki Palmer. Both songs play during the credits and are not available on the soundtrack. Chasing the Sun can be found on The Wanted's 2012 American debut extended play, The Wanted EP, while an alternate version of, We Are Family, sung only by Kiki Palmer is available for download. Topic. Release Ice Age, Continental Drift had its premiere on June 20, 2012, at the CineEurope Film Distributors Trade Fair in Barcelona. It publicly premiered on June 27, 2012, in Belgium, Egypt, France, Switzerland, and Trinidad, and was released on July 13, 2012, in the USA. The film is accompanied by the short animated film The Longest Daycare featuring Maggie Simpson. Topic. Marketing As a promotion for Ice Age, Continental Drift, Fox released two three-minute short segments from the film, titled Scrat's Continental Crack Up and Scrat's Continental Crack Up, Part 2. The first part premiered as a theatrical release attached to Gulliver's Travels in 2010, and it was released online on January 6, 2011, on iTunes Movie Trailers. The second part was released on November 16, 2011, on iTunes, and debuted in theaters with Alvin and the Chipmunks, Chipwrecked. 
The first part shows how the Skrat's actions lead to split of the continents, while in the second part, Skrat's underwater pursuit of acorns leads him to a pirate ship. The film was featured on Tommy Baldwin Racing's No. 10 car driven by Tommy Dreesey for the 2012 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Toyota – Save Mart 350 held on June 24, 2012. <laughs> Home media Ice Age – Continental Drift was released on DVD, Blu-ray, and Blu-ray 3D on December 11, 2012. Reception Box office Ice Age – Continental Drift earned $161,321,843 in North America, and $715,922,939 in other territories, for a worldwide total of $877,244,782. Its worldwide opening weekend totaled $126.9 million. Worldwide, it is the 47th highest grossing film of all time, the 5th highest grossing film of 2012 also, the highest grossing animated film of that year, and the 2nd highest grossing film in the Ice Age series. Overall, it is the 11th highest grossing animated film of all time. North American North America, the film earned $16.7 million on its opening day and $46.6 million on its opening weekend, which was the second largest opening weekend in the Ice Age series, only behind the meltdown $68 million. The film closed from theaters on February 7, 2013 with $161 million, thus standing as the lowest grossing film in the series, until Ice Age, Collision Course would gross less than $100 million in 2016. Other territories outside North America, it is the 12th highest grossing film, the third highest grossing 2012 film and the second highest grossing film distributed by Fox. It set an all-time record among animated films, until Disney's Frozen surpassed it. Ice Age 4 had a two-day opening of $11 million from 12 markets. On its opening weekend through Sunday, it earned first place with $80.3 million from 34 markets, opening number one in all of them. The film set an opening day record in Nicaragua and a Thursday opening record in Guatemala. In Peru, it earned the second highest grossing opening day and the highest for an animated film. It also set opening day records for an animated film in Russia and in Sweden and achieved the second highest grossing opening day for an animated film in France $4.5 million, Colombia, Argentina, and Chile. The film set opening weekend records for any film in Argentina first surpassed by Iron Man 3, Colombia, Peru, Central America, and Chile, and opening weekend records for an animated film in Norway, Sweden surpassed by Frozen, Ecuador, and Bolivia. Its largest opening weekends were recorded in Russia and the CIS $16.9 million, China $15.7 million, and France and the Maghreb region $12.8 million. It is the second highest grossing film in Latin America with at least $181 million, only behind Marvel's The Avengers. Critical response Review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes reports that 38% of critics have given the film positive reviews, with a rating average of 5.1,10 based on 131 reviews. The consensus statement reads, Ice Age, Continental Drift 3D has moments of charm and witty slapstick, but it often seems content to recycle ideas from the previous films. Another review aggregator, Metacritic, which assigns a normalized rating out of 100 top reviews from mainstream critics, calculated a score of 49 based on 29 reviews, indicating, mixed or average reviews. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of A. On an A-plus to F scale, Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times gave the film two stars out of four and stated, Watching this film was a cheerless exercise for me. 
The characters are manic and idiotic, the dialogue is rat a tat chatter, the action is entirely at the service of the 3D, and the movie depends on bright colors, lots of noise, and a few songs in between the whiplash moments. Megan Lehman of The Hollywood Reporter said, "...it's familiar, drawn-out shtick, and the humor lacks the subtlety of the first and best Ice Age, but there are some visually inventive high points." Simon Brew, writing for Den of Geek, gave a very positive four-star review, saying that not only is Ice Age 4 arguably the best in the franchise yet, it's also, a little surprisingly perhaps given that it's a fourth movie in a franchise, turned around on a strict cycle, turned out to be thoroughly, thoroughly entertaining family blockbuster. <laughs> Video games Ice Age Village is a mobile video game, developed by Gameloft, and was released on April 5, 2012 to iPhone, iPad and various Android devices. Ice Age, Continental Drift, Arctic Games, a video game based on the film, developed by Behavior Interactive, published by Activision and was released on July 10, 2012 for Wii, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo DS, and Xbox 360. Sequel A sequel, titled Ice Age, Collision Course, was released on July 22, 2016. See also List of animated feature-length films List of computer-animated films <laughs>